Sonic's got moves, man. I'm telling you. You ever wonder? That's dumb. We're not gonna start on that. No, yes we are! We- okay, we don't have to. <laughs> I- oh. Uh, wait. So, let- oh for- um, wait. Skybox? What's going on with Skybox? The- I have no idea how the background even works anymore. What's up everybody and welcome back to Sonic Adventure DX. I of course am what the new. As usual, I have absolutely no idea what's going on in this game. Today, we invade the Shield Helicarrier! <laughs> it's... Well, look at this! What else would this be? I, I mean, that is what this is. is Sonic just kind of left his bow and arrow at home? Okay, <laughs> so, Sonic is Hawkeye, Tails would be... No, Sonic... You see, I'd say who Sonic could actually be, but I don't know how much of a spoiler that is. Uh, go ahead. Oh, I I'm sure people have seen the movie by now. Like, unless it's Civil War spoilers. Oh, it's all Tron spoilers. Really? Yeah. Sonic is Ultron. Oh no, not not Ultron. He. I'll say it. Quicksilver is in the Age of Ultron. Oh, I see. And for long-standing comic fans, there's no real spoiler as Quicksilver is an Avenger, an Avenger at some point. But, yeah, Sonic could actually be Quicksilver. Okay, so Sonic is Quicksilver. That's an easy one. Tails is... Let's see. Tails can fly. I guess Tails is Iron Man because he's the brainy one of the group. And he he's, he's pretty much one of the only ones that can fly. And he can be properly snarky when he wants to. <laughs> He's just not an alcoholic. Yet! <laughs> this was before Sonic Boom. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Knuckles the, is the Hulk. Specifically- No! Tails is Dr. Banner. And Knuckles is the Hulk. Huh. Wait a second, what? What did I- What did I just do? Did I just skip some of the level? Did you sequence break? Was I- Again, was- was I supposed to do that? I have no clue anymore! Did I do that? Speaking of Hail Hydra... I still want to make that edit sometime. It's just... Urkel, I did do that. <laughs> I am surprised I'm honestly surprised that this hasn't taken, uh, well, then. I can't... You don't want me walking on the higher levels that much, I guess I can oblige. I mean, I'm gonna get up there anyway. Just gonna be a jerk about this. No, it's my cat walking, you're not allowed to use it! You ever wonder... Why it's called a catwalk? Um. Hmm. I I'm sure there's actually a story behind that term. There always is. Well, like I look it up. Cat. Hey, here, See. suck on my rocket punch. Oh no, I don't want to suck. Yes, I do. I mean, no. Oh. <laughs> you can't win with that statement now. No matter yes. what you do, you can't escape it. I could, but I choose not to. Somebody has to have written an article about that right now. Like, done a college essay, this was their thesis. You know... I've always found that kind of thing to be fascinating. Like, how our language works. Like, because... To some of us, even to those of us who have been studying the English language and been using it all our lives, it still doesn't make sense in some aspects. It's like, why do we have three versions of there? Yeah. Like, why do we have, why do terms work this way? Why do they work this way? Why do certain words mean certain things? And why do we use the same word for, for different meanings just like we spell it a certain way? The war... Just like Tootsie Roll Pops, the world may never know. 
Oh, I, hold on. Wait, what? Here we that go. was a weird visual tick. Sorry, go ahead. It's called a catwalk because the models on the catwalk have to walk very carefully like a cat. That is why it's called a catwalk. Okay, so I guess that's why it applies to this situation too. It's like you're you're pre precariously perched over maybe hundreds upon thousands of feet of a drop. True. It's kind of that's something that always bugged me in these games too. It's like there's no such thing as fall damage. Why does a bottomless pit hurt Sonic? It's true. Also, I mean, at least in Mario, it kind of makes sense because he's getting sucked into a black hole. It's like, the, number one, there's no escaping from that. Number two, uh, spaghettification is kind of a painful process, last I checked. Also, it takes about 364 licks to get to the center of a Tootsie Roll Tootsie Pop. <laughs> Do you know I did actual research about that when I was a kid? You I, did? I specifically asked my mom for Tootsie Roll Pops one day with the intent of counting how many licks it took and taking an average. You are a far more patient individual than I, because I <laughs> gave up around 70. <laughs> and you just bit into it, it's like, oh, fuck this shit. I couldn't do it anymore. My tongue had become tired, of course. <laughs> the spirit... <laughs> hmm... You, you try and think, I was about to say the, the spi- Sonic! Stop going in that direction, I'm not even touching the analog stick. I, I'm not touching you, I'm not touching you. At different parts in your life, I was about to say the spirit is willing, but the flesh is spongy and bruised. Yeah, what? Hey, yeah. Oh my god! Look at Sonic right now! He looks... scared. <laughs> he looks dead! <laughs> <laughs> look at, look what? At, Where are his eyes? Where did they, his eyeballs go? Does grown. he need those? Doesn't he if, need those? Well, you see, Fnu, we've entered the singularity, where just time, ha time and space have become. Maybe he did fall planet. down a black hole. Holy shit! Sonic sees all. Also, why is Robotnik just dumping shit out of his helicarrier? I mean, I didn't need this stuff anyway. If I can double my garbage disposal as a weapon against Sonic. I love the thought of so many people just in the, in the city below just going, What a lovely day! Oh my god! It's literally raining garbage. Why? Uh, meanwhile, Oscar the Grouch is going, Ha ha ha! My day has come! I think we're actually above the ocean right now. Oh, the poor, poor Ariel. <laughs> Or maybe like we're above the forest, so this is all raining down on Big the Cat, which actually works out for him because he doesn't have a whole lot to live off of anyway. It's true, he, that's why he doesn't need a job. Uh, Sonic, there we go. I... I am running in circles right now, there we go. So would you work on this helicarrier considering how just... You have to stand thousands of feet in the air walking on these narrow straights? No! Nobody wants to work for Robotnik. That's why all of his workers are robots. <laughs> yeah, not bad. I mean, robots don't ask for hazard pay, is one unless, big thing. Unless he programs them to for some unknown reason. <laughs> it's like in Sonic Colors. <laughs> like you beat the first um, robot boss, the giant carnival wheel. Yeah. And uh, Robotnik orders his two like minions, Orbot and Cubot, to clean it all up. Boss man told us to pick up all of this mess. When you think about what we're doing from a robot's perspective, it's actually pretty gruesome. <laughs> you ever ask yourself, what does Voltorb feel when he does self-destruct? <laughs> I think so we've actually talked about this before. Like, he's that crazed gun owner who's just looking for a reason <laughs> yeah. to use his brand new toy. He's been waiting his whole life for this moment. <laughs> okay, so this is for a different character. We'll have to come back to that later and show off our amazing spelling skills once again. Not gonna lie, Voltorb just looks like that... Voltorb does look like that guy. He just looks like... he just he's just going, Come on, just give me an excuse. Give me a friggin' excuse! <laughs> These are hammer switches, so I can't go that direction. He's even got, like, little maid bots here and there. 
I'm getting you one for your birthday. <laughs> well, I would appreciate that. You know what, the fact that I have somebody to help me with all of the different things I do, and you know what the best part is? What's that? That maid would not get tired of editing. Mm. Granted, the one I've currently got... Mm. Sorry, Jen, looks like I'm replacing you with a robot. It's okay, Jen, you can be my editor. You can edit my script that I write for myself. <laughs> Surprise, every single one of these episodes is planned out in advance. Exactly. The awkward it humor is all intentional. We're building up a huge plan here, don't you see? It's all work. <laughs> I can see the editing for my <laughs> script going... Why does everything... Why, is this Why does everything good? revolve around children and chocolate? You need to come up with some new material, dude. I know. Children and vanilla. <laughs> oh, hey, it's Gammer. Hi, Gamera. Why... Why... Why do I Speaking have of birds... I think it's actually kind of fitting because of the way this part of the game turns out. Yep. And no one tries to stop him. Amy could have thrown her hammer at that guy. Tails could have flown after him. Sonic could have run after him. Gamma could have shot him. I mean, I think this is actually the part of the game where he's going through his moral conflicts. Yeah, he could have saved No, that's someone. after this, like when he realizes that he's got to defy his orders and quote-unquote save his fellow robots. Which, we'll talk about that when we get to that point. Like, everybody's always really confused about how that goes. I think yeah. I understand it, but considering the game doesn't really bother to explain itself to you, it's probably all just interpretation. Yeah, Gamma is too much for too little. Because, you know, this is definitely back when 3D gaming was still kind of new. You know, we were still playing around with the visual elements and how to really, you know, help tell a story with the limited resources we had here. Gamma's story, I feel, if redone with current day technology... You'd have the wiggle room you need to explain everything? Yes. To make it idiot-proof, essentially, because the story is there, you just need to be paying attention. It's pretty much like reading a Frank Miller comic. Yeah. Everything is so incredibly condensed in this game that if you miss one tiny little detail, it doesn't really connect. It's like, wait a second, why are we doing this now? Like, our viewers missed the part where Tails and Knuckles resolve their sexual tension between each other. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Knuckles, shut up and kiss me, goddammit! Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note I think that's actually no actually I think we can sneak a boss battle into this let's do it or you know we could just chill out at the pool this whole time Which I think Sonic's actually got an idle animation if you sit still long enough where he just lies down so here's the real question Yes. There's a pool on the on the egg carrier. Yeah. The egg carrier that is moving around topsy turvy and crashing itself into everything in the sky. I mean, this is why he needed chaos. It's that special anti gravity water we were running around earlier. Just imagining him firing off the main beam and the recoil causing all the water to just shoot towards the door. <clears throat> And then someone walks in, like, time for a pool! I mean, time for a dip in the pool! Goosh! Because that's the sound of water. Goosh! Well, I, I'm satisfied. You ever try drinking the water in a pool? I... Uh, no. I try to avoid that when I can. When I was a younger draw, man, I was in the pool, and water got in my mouth. And I thought to myself... This water tastes funny. I don't like it. It tastes like people and piss. <laughs> and shame. <laughs> <laughs> also chlorine. Lots and lots of chlorine. It's so salty. Okay, so I remember there was a SpongeBob ad 
There was this Nickelodeon ad back when Nickelodeon did a lot of awesome commercials. And one other thing that is a sweet chair, I want it. I love how it's diesel fuel powered. <laughs> so. Transformers, more than meets the eye. You know, I've gone on record to say I like the Michael Bay Transformers. Because I just love the. Hold on. Here I come, rougher than knuckles. The best of them, tougher than knuckles. You can call me knuckles. Unlike knuckles, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my knuckles. So I've gone on record to say I enjoy the Michael Bay Transform. What is Sonic doing? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to try at this point. <laughs> It's got to the point where I'm so used to it that that's why I've been avoiding commentary on it. <laughs> but you've managed to actually catch my eye with it every so often. <laughs> oh yeah, so I like the Michael Bay Transformers because of the, I like their more I like the more detailed look, mm -hmm. and I like their more organic feel. You know, it feels like there's some kind of alien machine. I like it. Yeah, that's. That's one of the interesting things about Chaos. Like, he was specifically designed to show off what the Dreamcast could do. Like, a, a huge, clear enemy like this, that was transparent and had all of these bits and pieces moving around, just simply was not possible before. This guy yeah. was designed around 3D, and you can kind of tell. Yeah. Because you could do a 2D model of this character, but it, would, it wouldn't have, for lack of better words, the same impact as putting this in a 3D environment where things can actually move around. It wouldn't feel as big, I, f I think. Because here, you can even see the passing clouds through him. Yeah, you can look through him and see the, the background. It's one of those things like, um, scale is something you specifically have to try to achieve in a 2D game, like, you have to go out of your way. Like, Intrusion 2 did it really well with its final boss. Yes. If you've ever seen anything about that game. I'm about to look at it right now. Intrusion game. Oh, excuse me. This game looks awesome, why haven't I ever heard of it? <laughs> uh, to be fair, it's one of the best kept secrets of the indie community thus far. I don't think many people have really covered it. Like, if you don't mind spoilers, look up Intrusion 2 Final Boss. Yeah. I don't mind spoilers. You'll see what I'm talking about when, I re when I'm saying that this is pretty much... Some people hail it as the best final boss in any video game. And when you look at it, it becomes apparent why very, very quickly. That is the coolest looking boss! No way! I don't believe this! <laughs> that is the coolest looking dude! And the music is awesome too. This is what I aspire to be. I mean, draw. <laughs> Even after the battle itself. You know, let's just throw in the line there one more time, just for good measure. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what I love is... <sighs> By the way... This is why the entirety of uh, Skybridge was bullshit. To chase after Eggman, Sonic just jumps off the ship. Why did we like this game again? <laughs> <laughs> he pulled a he pulled a Donkey Kong sixty four. I can almost hear DK going. Yeah. <laughs> just pulls himself back up again. He pulled a Wily e. Coyote! <laughs> Speaking of really cool bumpers in between shows, do you remember that? Like when uh, Cartoon Network did the Ask Me Anything bit for cartoons and you could actually send in questions? Yes. Wily e. Coyote, why do you keep buying from Acme if all of their products either keep blowing up 
or backfiring on you. And he holds up a sign that says, good line of credit. <laughs> I mean, you get what you pay for sometimes, I guess. Remember those old Cartoon Network animated bumpers where it was the blue background and you had like the dun 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 music going in the background? Yes. Now I, can had... now I can play as everybody's favorite character, but I think we're actually going to have to say that for next time on Team on Team Pizza playing Sonic Adventure DX. Wow, that was a weird sentence. That sounded awkward coming out of my mouth. I'm sorry if it sounded weird to listen to. Don't worry, it sounded okay.